Happy Tuesday. Nice to see you. Welcome back. Hope you've glorified somebody. Hope you have a sense of your glory, your dignity and worth. Lazarus is, is ill. Brother of Mary and Martha, chapter 11, Gospel of John. Jesus gets a message. He's up uh, baptizing uh, north of the Sea of Galilee, probably up in the Batania area, maybe even near Bethany of the north. And he says, this illness will not lead to death, it will lead to the glory of God. Let's see what that's all about. So, uh, we're on verse 5. Accordingly, though Jesus... Though Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus, after having heard that Lazarus was ill, he stayed two days longer in the place where he was. So he just took his time, right? He didn't rush it, right? He didn't let the illness of somebody he loved uh, throw him off or throw off his vision because he knew there was, there was vision and purpose in that. And there was vision and purpose in what he was doing. So... Then it says, verse 7, Then after this he said to the disciples, Let us go to Judea again. The disciples said to him, Rabbi, the Jews were just now trying to stone you, and are you going there again? Remember that? Uh, when he was teaching, the Jews tried to stone him. Uh, chapter 10, Jesus responds, verse 9, Are there not twelve hours of daylight? Those who walk during the day do not stumble because they see the light of this world. But those who walk at night stumble because the light is not in them. Light is not in them. After saying this, he told them, So, 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 what, so what's Jesus saying here? It's interesting. Uh, are there not twelve hours of daylight? Those who walk during the day do not stumble because they see the light of the world. So I think Jesus is saying something pretty interesting here, and it's maybe something we might want to take note of in our life as well. He's saying, you know, a lot of people have a lot of agendas uh, and things uh, that they want to do, and, and I think they can do it. Uh, let them have their agendas. But we also have an agenda. We have a rhythm or a pattern of our life. And so we take that rhythm and pattern, and we own that rhythm and pattern, and we live it out, right? Uh, in the light of day, we let it be known what it is. It is apparent. It is part of us. It's a, it's a rhythm, like the clock uh, is a rhythm. And when we live that way, then we don't stumble. Uh, but if we're trying to live either out of pattern or doing the things that should be done during the day at night, and the things that should be done at night during the day. If we get those, those patterns mixed up, then we stumble. Because there is no light in that lifestyle. You see, in the kingdom of God, there is a way of doing things. right? And, and if you do these things, your life becomes full, full of joy and, and, and purpose. And so, so we live in patterns, and the patterns are habits, right? It's how we eat, and it's how we work, and it's how we worship, and it's how we listen, it's how we communicate, right? We know the things we do over and over again that are good things we get better at. That's why I make my, my son do exercises in the summer, right? He has to write, and he has to read, and he has to do Spanish, and he has to play tennis, because these are things that he has chosen to do. Well, not the writing and reading but the, the, the Spanish and uh, whatnot, tennis, um, they, they create a pattern of life. Not only does he become a better tennis player, which isn't all that important, the important thing is the exercise and the discipline and the practice. So, so that's what we're getting. We're getting this kingdom order thing here with the 12 hours and where we walk and the light and not stumbling and the light within us. So that's something I'd invite you to wonder about. What do you do in the light? Where might you stumble? How's the light brought in and how is it um, lifted up? Or how is it fueled? How is it, uh, has a flame waved so it becomes brighter? Think about that in your life. That's what Jesus is talking about. And then he says, this is great. And then he goes on and talks about what his flame is. He says, after saying this, Jesus says to the disciples, our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep and I'm going to go wake him up. Right? So back 
to yesterday in glory. Lazarus has died or fallen asleep. And he's going to wake him up. And he's going to do it to do what he does, right? To light the flame, right? And that is to point to the glory of God. So by living the life that he was made to live, right? And he does it in the patterns of the kingdom of God in the daylight. Then he actually reveals the glory of God. And that's true with you and I as well. Right? We're made to reveal the glory of God. Talked about that yesterday. We talked about that today. Jesus does that by raising Lazarus from the dead. Lazarus raises it, does it by being raised from the dead. And it all fits together beautifully like a, a wonderfully put together pecan pie. And who doesn't love pecan pie? <laughs> I certainly love pecan pie. Anyway, I'm glad to see you. Happy day. Enjoy yourself today. Live for the glory of God with all your greatest gifts. Remember, I pray for you. And I think about you and I love you. The peace upon your soul.